Hi, this is Greg from Web's Photo. I want to show you how to choose your proofs and how to order prints after the proofs are retouched. So we'll get an email following a shoot. Click on the email and it's an invitation to go to your gallery. Within this invitation there will be a password and there will be a link. When you click on the link it will bring you to your gallery where you'll enter your password. That will make available the gallery to you. Now these gallery images have not been retouched yet. Uh, they're here simply for you to take a look at to identify the ones you want to have retouched. So you go ahead through, you can click on the sides here. When you click on the side you'll see the picture changes. As well as the picture changing, this will change as well. This is the image identification that I have. So there's usually a name here followed by a number, usually a 1000 or 2000 number. These are, the, these are the information I need for you to identify to me the images you want retouched. So just keep going through and when you find one you like, note the information down here, write it down, and keep going through until you have all the images you want retouched listed. When you're done with that, you'll send me via email, just send an email with the numbers of the images you want retouched and those will be retouched. Now once the retouching is completed, I will send you a second email. Uh, like the first email, it'll have some information. It will have your password if it has changed. It'll have a link. Go to that link. And at this point, you'll be asked to put in your password once again. And now these are the retouched images. So these are now ready for purchase. And one thing that's a little bit different is you'll notice up in the right-hand corner here, there's a buy button. So unlike before when you're looking at your proofs, now you're able to order the pictures. So go through, find an image you want to purchase, click buy, and you'll now see different options for purchasing. So we're just going to go prints at this point. Click for prints. All the different uh, print sizes and their, their costs are right here. Now notice that it says best fit, and best fit means the entire image will fit onto the print. But because the aspect ratio of shooting versus printing is a little bit different, uh, you're going to have to think about cropping. So we're going to take a look at how cropping works. So we're going to go over here to 5x7. We're going to click to add a 5 by 7 and when it shows the image, you're going to notice that there are the lines around the image. So there is a orange line around the outside perimeter and a red line within. And down at the bottom it says everything inside the red line will be printed. Between the red and orange line it may get cut off and anything outside the orange line is not going to be printed. So this is the cropping feature that we have. When you come up here, you'll see there's some certain controls. You can reset the image if, if you start playing with the crop and you're not happy with it. But to crop it, there are two real controls you have. One control is to come over here to the zoom control on the left-hand side, and you can zoom in out of the image. Oftentimes, we shoot images wide, so you're able to crop in. So you can crop in as much as you want to, and now the image is larger. You can then take it, center it by dragging the mouse where you want it. And now that you have that done, that is the actual crop. So you're looking, everything inside the red is definitely part of your picture. Between the red and the orange, there's a little bit of leeway that may or may not appear in your picture. And nothing outside of the orange is going to be in the picture. That's how you choose your cropping. Now it's important to crop for every size that you want. So if I want to add this to my cart, I come down to the right hand side, click add to cart. And I, let's say I want another one of these pictures and I want it to be an 8x10. The 8x10 crop may be different. So make sure that for every size and for every image that you order, you always crop each image. That will assure you that you get the image that you want after ordering. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful. If there are any questions, feel free to email me, websphoto at gmail.com. Thank you.